Back here in Brooklyn, it's a happy recap. We are joined by Ramshi Saintville. The big second goal to give the Terriers the lead. And, you know, just take me through the goal. It, it seemed for you guys, you guys were chugging along, and then you finally had the opportunity to score that second goal. Yeah. And then you put it in the back of the net. Yeah. It was honestly, it was because I saw, um, what's it called? I saw Soko just going in the wide. I'm like, hey, man, I, we got to score. I got to score because there's two games that we were played, I haven't scored. So it was like, I'm a winger. I have to score. And uh, all my teammates is like, hey, Ram, this is the day. You got to score. And I just, I had to. He's like, I had to go all in. And we just got a big, um, take the big one. Did you feel like a weight was lifted off your shoulder once the ball went into the net? And now you can kind of just be a little more comfortable knowing that you do have a goal on the season? Well, the thing is, after I scored, I felt more energized. In a way, it's like I felt so excited. I felt like I could just run the whole field back and forth, you know? Because it's like, I score, I'm like, okay, you know what? I want another one. And I want another one. I'll keep going again. Now, I know you're a winger, but I thought the back line played well. And they continue when St. Francis is playing well, it's always because of the back line. Yeah. What can you say about their effort today? Uh, honestly, they're they, they are, they like a wall. If you think about it, they're like so strong and they always go in. They're not like, not like they would um, be scared of a tackle or anything like that. They would just go all in. The back lines are backbone. They are so good. They are so perfect. Everything is because of them. All right. Well, Ramshi, congrats on the win. Thanks Thank for the time. You. Thank you. Here in Brooklyn, we're here with Harold Solon. Harold, your goal broke the scoreless tie, and it was a much needed goal for you guys at the time. Can you take me through the play? I mean, we've been talking about we have to score more goals, and of course, it was great to get my first goals here for the Terriers, but it's just an important goal. Before halftime, we usually struggle a little in the first half here, but it was good to get it going. So, And how important is it to get it going into halftime, and how much does that change the strategy? going into the second half of the lead? I mean, for our part, it was, we were talking about when we got the lead in the first half, keep it up, keep it putting pressure on them, not dropping back. So, I mean, yeah, it changed our approach, but not much. Now, we just spoke about the back line. I want to ask you about your keeper too, yep. Mr. James. You know, standing on his head today, had a couple of saves big yep. time late. What can you say about his performance? I mean, Callum, is, he's been great the whole season. He's uh, doing really good back there, helping us, the defense, and he's even calling out the strikers to work. So he's just a great guy to have in the back. Harold, congrats on the win. Thanks for Thank the time. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be back to speak to Tom Giovato when we come back. Back here in Brooklyn, a happy recap where we're joined by the head coach, Tom Giovato. A 2-1 victory here, second straight home win. What are your impressions of this team as they continue to play better later down the stretch and specifically at home? Yeah, I mean, we love coming here. This is our home field. Um, you know, it's, it's a home field advantage coming down here. Teams walk in and, you know, mesmerized by the, uh, the scenery and the field. And, you know, we, need, we know we need to be ready to go from the, from the first second. And the guys love playing here and they, you know, they love the challenge of playing on this field. Harold said that it kind of calmed him down to score a goal before going into halftime. As a coach, does that change anything at all, or does it? How much does it help the team going into the break, knowing they're up one? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge lift to get that goal right before halftime, and it's uh, you know it's even harder on the other team to, to give up one. So, you know, it's a good feeling going into halftime, knowing the other team is a little bit down. Um, and you know, it was a it was a big goal. You know, we needed we needed that little breather. Um, you know, they were getting a lot of chances on us. The wind was really, you know, right in our face. So it was good to get one right before the half. And for you, the back line continuing to hold strong again. What is it about um, the back line, and particularly too, at least one guy that I thought stood out, Domenico Puglisi, doing a really good job. What were your thoughts on his play and the back line as a whole? Yeah, he, he was excellent. I mean, he's he's really been doing incredible the entire year um, and it's funny I, I, I mean I can't believe he's a senior now but uh, yeah he's been excellent the, the whole back four has been great Mamadou did an incredible job coming in for Ridwan who got injured um, you know that, that's a big replacement to, to fill in for Ridwan's shoes so they did a good job Vinny was excellent as well today um, he had to sit the last couple games but uh, did a great job and Harold's been steady the entire year so it's important you know, if we want to go far this year, the back four has to be solid, and you know, we know we, we got to limit the goals that the other team score. And how big is the stretch coming up, knowing you've got two on the road? Oh, I mean, it's we're going to Bryan, the hardest place in the NEC to play. You know, it's always a battle going there. They're a very tough team, um, so we know what we got we got going next week. So it's going to be a tough week of practice. 